Why do a hundred and something sheep all herd together and do exactly what one little dog herds them up to do? Fear. Hello and welcome. My name is Gareth Slick. And in today's video, I want to speak about fear. So going back about the sheep. These sheep are, what, two, three times bigger than a little dog. There's a whole herd of them. If they work together, you know, they could overcome whatever that wee dog's doing. But they don't know this because they're scared. They're in their emotions and the chemicals of fear. Their body is reacting primarily out of fear. It's doing as it's told. Just as the little birds I watch, they're all there eating. If I go, <coughs> cough, fight, flight, they fly, they're gone. Why? They're in survival mode. They're in fear. And when we're in fear and survival mode, we're easy to manipulate and we look to authority for help. We look for, to others for suggestions and answers instead of trusting ourselves. Fear is a pandemic in itself. Since the, the start, people have been in fear. Fear leads to violence. Fear leads to segregation, separation. Fear leads to so many things. When we live by the emotions of fear, we are giving into the illusion. There's fear and love. <laughs> Devil, God. Good, bad, positive, negative, fear, love, fear, love. Love is the upper centers. Fear is the lower three centers. The lower three centers are the primal centers. It's what are in animals, which is why the wee birds and the sheep and all get scared if you cough because <laughs> they're in the primal. When you're in primal, you fight, you run, you hide. When you're in love, you stand in pride and courage and you're brave because you're in the heart. And you can make nice decisions because you're making them out of love, out of what's for the highest good, not of, oh my gosh, if I don't do this, that's going to eat me. The yin and the yang, right? Chasing each other. The black's gonna, the black color might overtake the whole white. That's what anxiety is, right? The fear that the opposite is gonna defeat and overtake the other. Which isn't true because they dance together, the yin and the yang, you know, the wee fishes. Can't have light without dark. But when you just live in fear, you are the body, you're the nervous mechanism. It gets overwhelmed with all these chemicals and it does what it's told. It's scared. It sends messages to the mind. You're scared. But once you've transcended fear and you're resting in the heart, which is the bridge between heaven and earth, you're resting with God. And the arm of flesh has no power over God. God is in every atom, cell, molecule, tissue of your being and everything around you. But if you don't realize this or don't know this, then you think you're just this mere nervous mechanism called the body. And it's scared, especially in the world of Caesar, which we live in, the land of the dead, everything dies. This is the shadow realm, the shadow world. <laughs> a lot of things can go quite intense around. I like look at the world now. You can look at it, it's like a split between fear and love. The old world, the new world. You're giving into fear and herding like the sheep, being told what to do, being herded getting you to go through this one week gate instead of just stopping and standing in pride and courage and doing as you feel is best in your heart. That we heard of sheep could rise up, <laughs> you know? That we are. When we're in fear, so easy to be controlled and told what to do and without question, people do it. This is what, these are my thoughts, you know, the media. 
be scared of this thing that's happening on the complete opposite side of the world that has nothing to do with you, your country, and will never affect you. Be scared of it. Here it is. Death, destruction, separation. This person did that. You know, media. They call it Medea, Medea the goddess of a Greek goddess of illusion. Medea, media. Best thing I ever did was stop watching the news. If it's important enough, a friend will tell me. There's so much thing in this world, is it? Is it false light? Pretending to protect you and keep you safe, but it has a condition attached. If you don't do this, this is going to happen. That's not love. That's false light. That's fake light coming across pretending to be light. It's not unconditional love, is it? It's conditional. It has a condition. We will only love you if <laughs> you do this. That's like if you're in a relationship and they only love you on a circumstantial basis. basis. They only love you when you've done your, your dishes, <laughs> you know, or done your wee chores or it's not true love. Some conditional, conditional love. And what's God? He's un unconditional love. Fear is in the lower three energy centers. So if we can meditate and bless these new energy centers with order, coherence, and wholeness, and the joy to be alive and love, and move that energy up into the heart, throat, third eye, you'll see through the illusions. Rest in the crown energy, rest your awareness up here. You're out of the nervous mechanism. You're not going to be herded. Though the herd might throw stones at you, as they do in the Bible, throw facts, throwing stones, the throwing facts of the world of Caesar. If you don't do this, you're going to get sick, and you know, you're going to, you know, going to be outcasted. Live with God. God rest in my being. I rest one with God, as you are as well. Courage, brave, love. The armor flesh. There's no power over the spirit, <laughs> over your soul. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to speak a bit about fear. I had a lot of fear <clears throat> going up. Very little things I fear now. And if it ever does arise in me, I trans transmute it, raise it up, acknowledge it, observe it, and transmute it into love, let it go. Mm -hmm. I guess we've got to look at ourselves. Are we acting out of fear? Fear of loss or love? Do we give in to the world of Caesar? Or stay in our heart and realize we're immortal beings? The spirit. Well, peace. And love be on your soul. I love you so much. God loves you so much. Know thyself. And nothing can affect you. Whatever illusion comes your way, rest in God. And you are protected. Protected from yourself. <laughs> I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.